I gotta get a little lower. <laughs> Do you ever have those days where like you just you just can't get anything done? It's not like because you have too much to do. It's just the procrastination, man. Oh. Okay. I just like will wander around and like stare out a window or watch a TV that's just currently on. It's probably when I feel like the absolute like worst. So the first thing I have to do is take my phone and take it out of my pocket, get it away from me. And then I need to clean my room. And that might just be another step to the procrastination. At least it's better than nothing. <laughs> So the reason that I'm procrastinating is that today's date is November 2nd and on this day, October 2nd, my sister got married and I, and at this wedding they were filming and I was tasked with doing the editing for it and I haven't yet just because of busyness and there's no clear due date on it and I feel like today's the day it needs to get done. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I will edit um, until I get tired. And I'll take a break and I'm gonna come back. For the record, I'm aware that the college student record player vinyl thing is kind of overplayed and kind of lame. Um, I get that. For me, it's like the same thing with the laundry, kind of. Like, it sets me on a timer, like, okay, by, before I flip this record again, I want to have this much done. Um, it also kind of relaxes me when I'm stressed. Something about the physicalness. I know that sounds lame, and I just, I'm, I'm being honest, I recognize it's lame, it's overused, and I hate it, but I do it, and I'm, it, that's... Am I still recording? Dear God. Sometimes it's just nice when you're editing to be able to go out for a bit, take a break. Oh no! I'm not wearing my play shoes. I've kind of gotten into the boarding around a little bit. It's kind of fun zooming. Where we take a look outside, make sure we don't see anybody. I hate coming out when people are here. Doop doo doo. Don't you worry. I belong here. The roads here are just so nice. So, so nice. Yeah, one time I didn't stop it. Just once. It's probably just because it's not my neighborhood, but man, people don't use this area enough. I don't know, man. I'd like to think I'm gonna get past this procrastination thing. 
mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it almost feels like school trains you for this. You know, everybody telling you you can't do this the night before when really you can. And later on, there's things you can't do the night before. I don't know. I guess it's just you gotta find the ways to to fight it best you can. But ironically, I feel like I do some of my best work when I'm procrastinating. You know, whether it works for you or not, I know this. I feel like garbage when I'm just wandering around. I know there's something that needs to be done, and I'm not doing it. And I'm just kind of occupying my mind. And uh, I would like for my life to be filled less with recommendations from YouTube and probably more recommendations from like my future self. You know what I mean? Stuff that's going to pay off for me in the long run. It's kind of like the long term stuff you do. It pays off in those moments of silence. You know, those moments when you're alone with yourself. Because if you just have stuff gnawing at you, like you're procrastinating a wedding video, or it could be stuff as stupid as that or way bigger than that. But having those moments of silence or the moments of peace, maybe, I know when I sit there, I'm gonna start thinking about the things I need to do and haven't done. So maybe it's about procrastination, but maybe it's also about just being able to sit in it and not always be running from silence. Did that get too deep, you think? I'll probably do something stupid to finish it off so it's not so crazy. Back to the woods. Oh. I just, you know, I want my life to be more doing and less, less not doing. That sounds lame. See that lady there? I wish I recorded it. She's running by. I say, hey, how you doing? No response. What gives? I just don't get it. <laughs> 